Welcome to Riffs 101. It's from uh, Long and McQuay, where the music begins. Sean Barreau, the greatest guitar player, world in, city. Maybe in this room? I don't know. Maybe no, 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 are... that's not what I'm hearing. Is here a rock star to teach you how to play your favorite rock songs. What a great concept. Where do we get to start with? Uh, let's start since we spent uh, last summer touring with him, and I got a good chance to look at his fingers. You got to hang out with these guys. CC Tom, are you serious? Some. Yeah. Uh, How are they to hang out with? You know, the we toured with him in '97, and we saw him just quickly at a post-show thing after the last show. So we thought maybe that would be what would happen this time. And from our first show in Vancouver, and for the rest of the tour, uh, Billy especially, Mr. Gibbons was going well above and beyond anything anyone could that be expected so cool. to to make us feel welcome, show us guitars, give us alcohol. One of Jimi Hendrix's That's favorite awesome. guitar players. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Cool. He spends a long time talking about Let's it. go with cheap sunglasses. Show, All us, right. show us how to do. Well, so when a lot of guitar players move from playing acoustic guitar, or even when they're first learning guitar, you're learning four chords, you're learning all six string kind of stuff. And on a guitar that's a little bit distorted, or a lot distorted, a lot of that stuff doesn't work, things get lost. So you can do more effective, more powerful things by just playing a couple notes at a time. So Cheap Sunglasses is a great example of that, where the most you're ever playing is three strings at a time, but it has this weighty, ballsy riff because of it. So it goes like this. So you're kind of... Having those two strings ring in there, it looks like my right hand is playing a bunch of stuff, but really I'm never playing beyond strings. So it starts with your first finger playing on the D, G, and B strings on the first on the third fret, sliding up to it. And then playing this riff on the first fret of the E string, which is an F, and then up to the G. And then you're doing basically the same thing, but on the A string, but you're letting the strings kind of ring in there a little bit too. It just gives it some ambiance. So it goes. And then the other section that's really cool is the. Basically those same notes we've been playing in a different order. So you can experiment with that and then I'd be remiss if I didn't show you the uh, <laughs> the Gibbons thing that's that which is super cool I'll show you in here. So it's like you're kind of it's like the in a martial arts movie where they do the one inch or two inch punch. You're using a bunch of force but not starting from very far away from the string. And you're kind of letting a little bit of the flesh of your thumb touch the string as well as the pick. So you can do this without anything on your left hand. And you hear those harmonics jump out. And that's something that Gibbons is the king of. Zach Wilde uh, from Aussie and Black Label Society does that too. So uh, as you once you've mastered the uh, rhythmic part of Cheap Sunglasses, you can start throwing in those pinch squeal harmonics. We go. Have fun with it. As always, all of this stuff, you can learn how to play the song. All the people who are doing it are doing it loose and not the same mm -hmm. every time. And then just introduce that into your vocabulary. Play. So you are playing with the Big Sugar and the Commodore. When's the, when are the shows? We are uh, October 21st and October 22nd. Uh, One of them sold out. Which is it? Uh, the 22nd is sold out now, and the 21st had a few tickets left. So Thank you so much. My pleasure, Dean. Sean Barreau, that's Riffs 101 from Long and McQuaid.